Hi everyone, welcome to my Diamond Dot uh, group. I was asked to do a beginner uh, first time user video and I'm happy to do so. So, uh, what you start with when you open your package, it's in something like this. And inside this package, you get a little bag. It has a pen type tool, a tray, and some wax. The wax can be this size or smaller. It depends on the size of your project. The other thing also that depends on the size of your project is whether or not they include a pen tool with uh, a multiple bead attachment to it. So uh, this allows, this is a big one, it allows you to pick up I think five dots at once. So if you've got multiple dots in a row you can just pick up and lay down. I won't go into much detail about that because I'm working on a small project today. The other thing that is available is this handy tool to separate columns and straighten out your rows and columns of beads. Um, this does not come with and I was given this tool so uh, thank you Amber I use it all the time. Now I will not bother opening this because I have many of them opened already. So I have my tray and I used to have wax. Aha, here it is stuck under something. So I take out my pattern and this is what I have. There will be a photograph of the finished product and uh, I find that quite helpful. Uh, some of the pieces I've done, most of them actually have the dimensions up here. This one happens to be 12, uh, huh, 30 centimeters by I think 20 centimeters. 30 centimeters is one foot for those of us who did not have an education in uh, metric. So the first thing we have to look at, oh also included, will be a bunch of these bags. I've separated them and put them in numerical order in my little handy tray. Uh, you can see they're all numbered. One In this case, 1 to 17. So they come in a long strip and you just divide them up. This is the best way I have found to keep them standing up so they don't spill. And trust me, they will spill. Even if you think there's no way. So I go down this chart and this column, the number is the number on these bags. This is number four, and that is the coordinating number. And number five, and there it is. It's five is five. But when you get into the, like 13, it's letter E. So what I've gone ahead and done is uh, labeled all of the little containers I'm going to use. So 1 to 9 and then E, F, H, K, N. So I reuse this all the time. I, this is a small project, so these are all the ones I need. I have others here that have been labeled that I don't need for this project. So these are available at the dollar store. You can order them online. I can get them for you, but it's so much cheaper for you just to go into the dollar store. They're pill boxes. So you can also get them at your pharmacy for not very much money at all. Uh, definitely cheaper than if I order it for you. So now to start, you see that this has a plastic film. And that is because the pattern is coated with resin. It's so sticky that I can hold it up just like that. So you do not 
want to take this cellophane off your project, you're going to have your hand on this resin. It's going to come off on your hand uh, oh, and in your hair. Always tie up your hair when you're doing this if you have long hair because it will find its way to the resin. Um, so I generally will peel off about 10 rows, give or take, and I tape this back because it's always going to want to flip back on me. There. So now to start, you will need your tray, you will need your wax. It's covered on both sides with a little plastic. You can take off the one side. You have your pen ready. Now, I did a video yesterday for this same video, so um, this piece is already started, unfortunately, because I couldn't upload my video. So, today I'm having more luck with that. So I started with number one and got the beads down. I'll start now with the next letter. Hopefully you can see this. These are letter C. I've got number fives. I've got K. So those are the ones I'm going to be working on first. I always start working from right to left. That way my hand is not in resin. There's always a little bit of resin on the side and that's just enough to be annoying, but uh, it's handy if you drop a, a bead and need to put it on something sticky to not lose it later. So this is C and I go down and I find C and it is number 11. So I'll go through and I will find number 11. Do yourself a favor and don't cut lengthwise. Cut a small corner. Put some beads in your tray. And this I said was C. And why don't I have C? How about that? I'm very confused all of a sudden. So let's just make one up without spilling our beads. Let's see. I definitely have extra space. And now they won't be in the right order, but I don't care. It's fine with me. So once I've put some of the beads on the tray. I can pour the rest of these beads in the little container. And I don't want to fill it completely. I could with this one. There's not that much, not that many beads. But if there were a ton of them, and sometimes you get two or three bags of the same color, then I'm good to go with color C until the end. I'm keeping this bag because when I finish, I likely will have extras of these and I can put them back in the bag, tape it shut, and keep them in case I ever need. So the empty bag, I'm putting right back in order between nine and 12, whatever the numbers were, I probably have it wrong. Oh well. Those of you that know me know that I struggle with words. So now I've got this tool. I've got my wax. I just poke it in there and pick up some wax. And I'm ready to go. I'm going to turn on a light here. It might be easier for you. Or I could zoom in. Let's zoom in instead and get rid of the light. Yeah. Okay. So... Color C I have here, and I'm just going to pick up with the wax and put it down on color C. One thing you want to pay attention to, to save yourself some grief when you're finished your project, 
try to get everything exactly centered. If you are working with square beads, they have to be exactly right. Otherwise, your project will just be wishy-washy and things will not line up properly. So I'm just going to drop color C where it tells me to in this small section that I've got exposed. All right, well, you don't need to see me doing this part, but you see C goes up here and under my plastic. If there's only one or two colors that you're working on above, I just, I'll put them down rather than have to go back and uh, add them later when I expose the next section. So now C is done. Not really, but uh, in a perfect world, it would be. I put my beads back in C and I've got C back in the tray and then I carry on. When you're putting things away for the day, fold this back because everything sticks to this resin. And it's really sticky. Uh, now I've just messed this up completely. So there you go. I, <laughs> I can get this off. It's gonna take a lot of work. But I'm going to leave this in the video because it's a good example of what not to do. You can always trust on me to do something that is, don't do this at home. So that's it for the beginners. I'm going to leave this video the way it is now and carry on. So thanks for stopping by. I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, definitely give me a call or write a message. Um, I'm putting all of these videos on my YouTube channel, which is Annette Duguay Bruce. And uh, I will put a link on Annette's Diamond Dot Crafts group. So uh, stay tuned. I will have more, I'm sure. In the meantime, have a great day.